just uh, be happy to answer any questions you guys have or, or whatever would be helpful for you. I guess um, how much can you think about this in stages and what do you think might be ready by next season? Yeah, it, uh, it's really going to be a work in progress through next season, so we're going to ask our uh, fans to have some patience. There'll be some uh, d disruption, but, but we will play in Assembly Hall. It'll just be one season with the inconvenience. We will open in the fall of 2016 and have all the accoutrements in place. Um, I'm hopeful that some of the um, accessibility features may be in place. Uh, not totally sure about the timeline, but the escalators and so forth may be, may be there, and, and that'll, that'll help with some of the circulation even before we've got the thing all the way open. Forgive me, but under what disruptions are you expecting at this point? Well, you know, it's hard enough just to get in here with the security fence up and, and all that. They'll be, um, we'll, we'll, we'll work very hard to communicate what uh, problems there may be in terms of the, you know, your favorite door to exit may not be available anymore. The, the entryways may be funneling people in ways that they're not used to be. So um, we don't know all the details of it. I just know that it will be sort of a mess this upcoming year outside the bowl. Inside the bowl, you really won't, with the gravy boat or whatever we call it in there, you won't notice too much disruption. Made a decision on your scoreboard. Exactly what, what that all entailed. I'm going to get the biggest, coolest <laughs> one I can get. I'm all about, uh, you know, when it comes to scoreboard, size matters. You know, yeah. so we're going to get uh, a very large uh, scoreboard. Probably get away from that bifurcated thing where there's different stuff going on at the top, the bottom. The technology changes, which helps you get more scoreboard for your money, and also makes it uh, less heavy, so the engineers aren't concerned that we're going to. Um, uh, hang it up there. We're going to want to try to preserve some of the sight lines going across. Some of the things I think are cool about Assembly Hall is being able to see across the, the Assembly Hall and you can almost hear conversations of people directly across. So we don't, want the, uh, we don't want the scoreboard to become a barrier in that way, but we do want it to be something that our fans will, will really appreciate and we'll be, we'll be looking at that now. We, we haven't um, secured even set the specs for that yet. I assume we'll fire off some fireworks. No fireworks. You know, I, 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 I you know, I will admit that occasionally I like a, a nice firework, but you, you haven't seen any fireworks in Assembly Hall. You haven't seen any sparklers or anything like that. I have a great respect for the tradition that is uh, is Assembly Hall, and and uh, I was surprised to be over in Illinois this year, and they were shooting stuff off and being all crazy. We're not gonna we're not gonna do any of that any of that stuff. It's it's the collegiate environment, it's the band, it's the cheerleaders, and a big gigantic jumbo uh, scoreboard. Is there a bowl I guess it's, won't change the bowl itself? No, the seating alignment won't change. All the seat back chairs will be essentially replaced, completely refurbished. That'll be nice because those things are fairly gross. And uh, you know, you sit there and wonder what's gone on in there the last 44 years with the sort of the, the permeable uh, materials and so forth. So uh, that'll be a big plus in the bowl. Um, but, but, but the seats in the Jumbotron will be the main thing fans will notice when, when that's all done. Are you expecting to have the seats replaced by the start of next year, or is that for 2016? That, that's pr I'm not totally conversant with the timeline, but I would expect that's probably 2016. I guess is there a, a, a stage that this like does this have to happen in certain stages? Is there one thing that has to happen first, then another, then another, or can you kind of work on them as you please? It's it's both those things. So the the the, the CM and the construction manager and the architect will set up a very detailed timeline, and some things will have to be sequential, but some things will, can be simultaneous, and it's actually a fairly tight timeline. So there will be a lot of things going on at the same time. Or be able to be used at all by the, the teams, like in, in the off season at all, while this is going on, or how's that going to work? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm not sure I know the exact answer to that, but I know the access will be limited. Um, but we'll try to obviously have them have it as, as much as they need, but probably not as much as they've uh, traditionally had. Is the, is the South Lobby, I guess, just kind of closed for the foreseeable future, though? It, it will be soon. They've already started digging in to do some utility work and all that, and, and that'll be the focal point where most of the work's going to be going on and will really be the most dramatic piece. I'm really excited about this concept of a front door to Assembly Hall facing campus to immediately hit our fans with the traditions and, and, and the accomplishments of Indiana basketball right as they come into the building. So it'll be, I guess, through, through the season then, the South Lobby will probably be? I, I don't know for sure. Again, I don't know all the details of the, of the timeline, but that's, that's probably right. And, and we're excited to have Ken Nunn here today. Um, we decided to name that Champions Plaza in recognition of the five um, national championships and hopefully more to come. And, um, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but there's going to be some really cool things in that entryway, including some statuary, um, commemorating some of the most iconic moments and people uh, in IU basketball history. 
think we might hear something soon about the south end zone of the stadium. Is that one of the next things on the, on the list? Yeah, that's a, that's a widely uh, uh, acknowledged uh, rumor that I'm not prepared to confirm today. But um, the, the, uh, I do hope that the balance of the capital campaign will be rolled out over time. And I, I do think a major student-athlete development uh, building will be part of that, likely located in the south end zone of Memorial Stadium. Anything else, guys? All right. Thanks very much. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it. Thank you. Is there